Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. This is part five, the finale of Crisis. Now, as I was mentioning in my part four reaction intro, uh, this is being recorded before I watch even part four, because I'm watching this live back to back, parts four and five back to back. So, yeah, I don't know, because I haven't seen part four, so I don't know how the finale is going to wrap up, but I'm excited as hell for these two episodes, and like I was saying, there is a reason why they're doing this, and I'm not complaining. Because we get both, we get we get the the episode returning from this long break, and then the finale back to back. So I'm not complaining whatsoever about how they're handling it. But uh, I'm expecting some crazy shit said that since this is the finale episode. But I don't know because I haven't seen part four yet. <laughs> so like I said, this is not a traditional intro. So I'm gonna stop rambling and uh, let's just see what happens in part four, and then part five we'll see what happens after part four. Let's get into it. Holy crap, part four just ended. Part five starts right now. Oh my freaking God, so much stuff happened. She got annoyed when I yelled during a really specific part. And now we're about to see the finale. Part five, here we go. Oh, Chris, finally. <laughs> Alex, you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, you're not acting like it. I'm confused. Oh my god. <laughs> we live in dangerous times. Because you're here. Dangerous place. That's good. I suppose that's No, he he's the boss. And he's your number one supporter. What? He's the boss? And all the times they defended you. For our number one supporter. But it happened. It all happened. Well I'm glad that someone Whoa! She's on the flash! Is this oh is this confirmed? Confirmed? Sorry. She's one of mine. What's she doing on my earth? What? Wait, wait, what are you doing on my earth? Supergirl? Flash? I just love it when you guys came Would would you find this for me, please? Okay. You don't remember coming here for trivia nights? And being teleported to an alternate wave rider to stop the multiverse from being destroyed? He's like, what? Wait, was there a crossover? Were we invited? Did we win? This is faster. Wow. That's a lot to, to throw in. There's a multiverse? And all got destroyed as an evil Batman and as a me that's a super me? It'll take him some. Martian John came by and gave us a split. Martian John? He died twice, sir. Yeah. Both times. <laughs> That's messed up. He should have been there. <sighs> he was my brother. Listen to me. Look, we all, we all died. It's not fair. Brain dump. Brain dump. Yep. It's true. We all live on the same Earth now. Our Earths must submerge when we helped Oliver reboot the universe. Except Oliver's not here. I had to see if it was true. The DEO, CACO, all of National City is on this Earth now. Even Argo's up there. Why did he give everyone else the first start but not himself? I think so. Oh my god, again? What the fuck is oh my god. Fucking giant Bebo. Yeah, we've been busy saving the multiverse. You got Shanghai to another crossover, didn't you? That's a way of putting it, I guess. Thank you, Cinnamon Still. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh my god, they're breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> Welcome to the party. 
Yeah, well, you did. Ragman. This thing ain't over. As a matter of fact, it's just beginning. I was an assassin. I was dead. And I'm the captain of a freaking time ship. Yeah. A look at what a sacrifice made possible. My world is... is different. Yeah. With him gone, my connection to this world, this place... To that tree. It's gone. I know what it's like to lose family. Yes, you do. All right, Barry, John, Supergirl, and Bat Lady are gathering the truth. Bat Lady. The anti monitor is alive. It seems like it. Oliver sacrificed himself to create this new world. Apparently, his sacrifice didn't kill the anti monitor. What if we could? Set off a chain reaction that will destabilize his form. Compress hmm. his molecules so he's essentially shrinking for eternity. Is that kind of reaction even possible? Sure it is. I did it a bunch of times by accident when I was developing my atom exosuit. Is this new? Yeah. New world. New look. Got the chatter they're here. That was cool. He's like, this is nothing. Oh! Damn! Oh, he's getting bigger! Oh my god! Finally transforming! He's fucking giant! This is awesome! <laughs> How's this? Ooh! the same earth then. I know they're on the same earth, but it's just weird to see this. Prime. It's crazy they went on this. They started the whole thing on that damn boat. Nice. I like this. I like this. Good for you. No, good for us. I figure we could all use this 
just to gather if anything ever happens again. It's a great idea, Barry. Superman, it's a better Dude, option than you all dropping by the DEO. Car is overly excited. That's awesome! That's so cool. Yeah! It's perfect. It's like their own version of the Justice League! That's exactly what it is! And they have a seat for Oliver. That is so nice! This is awesome! It's over. Now, you were saying in the Part 4 review um, that you liked this episode more than Part 4. I think the first half of it was a little odd, but I think it needed to happen. Maybe they could have switched up a couple things, but they confirmed it. Earth 1 and Earth 38, Supergirl's Earth, Earth 38, and now Earth 1, it's now Earth Prime. <laughs> so, and also, Black Lightning's Earth is now on Earth Prime, as they're calling so it. So they're all on Warner. Yep. So all the shows... That are continuing, plus Superman and Lois just got picked up today as... Do so you think they'll be on each other's shows more often then? Since yeah. they're all on the same line? Definitely. I feel like the only one that's going to have an issue is Black Lightning, just because that they film in Atlanta, Georgia. They don't film up in Vancouver like the other shows. <laughs> that's going to be difficult. But I like the fact that they're all there. And I'll talk about the ending and all the things that pop up. <sighs> uh, especially the one thing. Um... But yeah, they're all on, on Earth. And it, it's crazy how they had w Weather Witch. Yeah, Weather Witch to kind of confirm that. And then they had Marv. Marv Wolfman. I think that's his name. Marv Wolfman. Fucking. The, the God. The, they got the writer. I think he was. I don't know if he's the sole writer or one of the writers. Whatever. I know he's got a credit in it. He was the guy who wrote Christ on Infinite Earth. The actual comic book run. And he popped up. She was in the bathroom at this point. She He popped up and asked Supergirl and Flash for an autograph. And he said, my name's Marv. Make it out to Marv. That was awesome, man. Um, okay. So, a giant Bebo, which wasn't... She She was like... That was weird as hell. It is. It's a Legends thing. Trust me. I, I told her, don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's hard to explain. It is a magician. I don't know. It was kind of a weird thing. They could have reworked that. Um, and I feel like they took a little too long to kind of build up the fact that Anti-Monitor is still alive. We we kind of figured, because why would you have a fifth episode to kind of tie everything up? And Like, they couldn't make a full episode of just everything's kind of fixed, but not really. I don't know. Uh, Lex Luthor now owns the DEO. Which is fucking crazy. He's Supergirl's <laughs> biggest supporter. He, he knows what happened. But the thing is, too, when they all woke up, like... They all woke up in a reality or on the on Earth Prime that had that basically was telling them, oh wait, we've we've known all this time you guys have been here working together. Because they asked Marv, he's like, How long have we all been working together? And he's like, Forever? Like the the whole point is like this new multiverse like this new Earth, they have to basically relearn everything. Like what what was their past like now that all on the same earth? Mm -hmm. I guess we'll be learning that throughout the shows. Um, so, let's talk about the, uh, the crazy thing is, uh, the ending had some really cool shit. I tried to hold back the volume there because of my freak out in part four. So, we saw Earth, I think it said Earth 2 is Stargirl's Earth, so she's not going to be popping up in... I mean, she could pop up on Earth Prime, but she's on Earth 2, and that was a cool shot of them. I cannot wait for that show. That show that looks really cool. Um, they showcase Swamp Thing, the Titans, Doom Patrol. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that shot of the Green Lantern and Oa, I think that was from the Green Lantern movie, I think. I think it was. Holy shit. The Green Lanterns are out there. We know they're out there. Oh my god, that is so funny. Fucking crazy. Earth 96. I Wait, was that... I'm try, I gotta go back. Was that the same Earth that Kingdom Come Superman? Because now he has the yellow in his crest. Did you see that? The yellow in his crest? The Kingdom, the, the, the Kingdom Come Superman. When he was flying up... I wasn't really paying. He had a yellow crest instead of the black and red. He had 
like traditional Superman. It was the same design, but it had the yellow and red. Yeah, I don't hope... pay attention like that, like you do. Oh, okay. I hope we see him again, please. Um. Okay. So then, like I'm, I'm going out of order here, but the, the president gives this big speech about Oliver, saying he's the first true hero or something like that, and they honor him and everything. And I'm glad they did that. It made sense. The the it's basically the Hall of Justice, the way it looks, that bunker, but or not the bunker, the, the warehouse, but they have a thing for Oliver for his stat for his not statue, well his outfit, and then they had that little arrow that they lit up. I guess it's like an eternal flame thing, I'm guessing. And they didn't say it, but they just created the fucking Justice League. They can't say the name. I like the design on the table. The chairs are cool. They had a chair for Oliver. That was very nice. They have created the Justice League without saying it. <laughs> they have miraculously figured it out. They could have came up with another name, but the thing is, if they were to name themselves, people would go, sure, whatever. It wouldn't be the same. So they have to just go with just teaming up. Because they because if they came up with another name, like, uh, they can't really call them the Legends or something. Like, Paragon. Like, any name that they would have gave this team, essentially, would have been like, well, because they can't say Justice League. So let's just not give a name. Makes total sense to me. So I was surprised about this because someone because someone would mention this and I was mentioning it too in a live stream a while back after part three aired and we were just talking. I was like, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna reveal the next crossover event at the end of part five. Like they're gonna like Crisis House revealed last year doing Worlds. They're gonna announce it. Well, kind of like whatever that like thing that eats bananas is. I what I, the hell is that? I don't know what that was. I think it's like a Legends thing. I have no clue what that was. I don't. know. Because I was thinking like a banana, I'm like Grodd? But why would Grodd be there? In that tiny little cage? I don't know what that was. Someone will mention it and go, that's what that was. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, okay, Superman has sons. Two. Where did the other one come from? I don't know. Because they, for the while there's been a casting call for two teenage boys for Superman and Lois show. So obviously they don't they didn't have the actors casted, but I think that's what they're so so on this mult on this new I think multiverse on this new Earth Prime. Apparently, he has two sons. They also did something too. Did you notice, Lila and Diggle when Flash did Flashpoint? They had a daughter and then it was a son. It was yeah, switched yeah. back to a daughter. Okay. I don't think they can decide what kind of kid they're going to They have. don't want, they don't know. Well, I have a son next time you see him. The daughter will be non-existent. <laughs> you mentioned too, like, where's Iris? Iris was not, nowhere. Neither was, um, Cisco. I feel like some actors probably just weren't available, or they just don't, they just didn't, if they only pop up just to be on screen, not speaking, it's probably a little weird. They don't matter. I'm, I don't know. I'm I feel like, Barry was like, so devastated when he thought he lost Iris. And, and then we didn't see them. See her? I think we'll see they reunited in Flash episode the next one. That's stupid. I know. They're reunited. You reunited now. They should reunite in this. Yes. Probably not. Probably not enough time. Because I feel. How long does it take? They. Just a few I, I know. To pop I'm. The I'm saying they wait. The first half of this episode felt at times like they're wasting minutes. Like some of it, I understood. Like Sarah and Barry's conversation on. Um, on the steps about Oliver and in their lives and how, you know, Oliver was the last bit of her, her old life under that, that needed to be there. But a lot of this stuff, they could have easily found other ways to kind of explain it and move the plot forward. I like how John Jones, thankfully he's around because if not, nobody outside of the Paragons would have known what had happened. Like in the previous multiverse situation. So I think, did I miss anything? I was expecting, more cameos. I was expecting Linda Carter to show up as a Wonder a Wonder Woman or something. It never happened. There was lots of rumors of things that did not happen. I heard, and I'll say it here now because we didn't see it. I heard a rumor that we were going to see Tom Welling again in Superman outfit. Complete bullshit. I heard that we were going to be seeing uh, a version of jo of um, John Diggle 
not our version, as a Green Lantern. Didn't happen. We got Green Lanterns, but it, we didn't see anybody, really. But we saw Oa, oh, uh, Green Lanterns. That was cool. Uh, anything else? Nothing on top of my head that I can think of that were rumors that... But the thing was Ezra Miller, that, that whole thing in Part 4, that was never... I never heard a peep about that, so I'm so glad that was kept under wraps. But yeah, so that's it, honey. Crisis is over. And now... We move on with now all the shows dealing with the aftermath of a new mul a multiverse in a sense, but a new Earth where all the shows are now on one Earth. <laughs> and then you see that now we have Star Girl that's coming, but that's a DC Universe CW collaboration where mark you know marketing and all that kind of stuff. But that is a different situation. That's why it's on another Earth, so we don't have to tie it in. It'll be too confusing probably. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. What'd you guys think of this part five for Christ of the finale? Are you glad? How it turned out, were you expecting more? Whatever thoughts you have, let me know in the comments below, guys. Talk to you guys soon.